Amos chapter 9 verse 8, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon this sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops with great millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sit, I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here forbear. Look, look, damn it, let it burn. That's our attitude. We're pretty much a response video to the video Elder Manato Zakba from South Carolina did. This is a response video. Let it burn, man. All right? And we ain't talking about us either. Let it burn. Let it be utterly burned to a crisp, man. All right? Like the Lord said, leave, leave, leave nothing left of her, man. All right? And in one hour, it's only going to take the Lord one hour to burn this whore, man. Straight up, man. You don't feel bad this place going in. Man, the hell with this place, man. 500 years of catching hell. But look, give me the popcorn. Give me the popcorn, man. Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power, which are the angels, are upon the central kingdom, aka America, man. Let it burn, man. Let nuclear fire consume this place, man. All right? And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, man. All right? We don't feel bad this place is going down. We don't feel bad that the Lord is taking the mirth out of this place. We don't feel bad all the businesses are closing the hell down. We don't feel bad. The economy is about to crash. We don't feel bad that the infrastructure has a D. We don't give a damn. Let it burn, man. That's our attitude. And I would destroy it. From off the face of the earth, saving that I would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei So the Lord is gonna cook this place soon, come, man. And look, look, and though it tarry, wait for it. Nahum chapter 3, verse 1, woe, which means destruction. Woe to the bloody city, aka America. Woe to it, man. It is all full of lies and robbery, the prey, the part of not a foundation, a corporation. An establishment that was found on rape, robbery, and murder. Now that it's going down, you think we ain't rejoicing? We we look, we rejoicing like all know what. We're gonna rejoice when we see the vengeance of Yahweh by Shemiah come upon these heathens. Nahum chapter three verse one. Woe to the bloody city! It is all for destruction into this place. That's our attitude. Let it burn, man. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need no water. Let the MF -er burn. Mo fo burn. Let that mo fo burn. It is all full of lies and robbery. It was founded on lies, rape, robbery, and murder. Remember, this land is the foul, man. Remember the Native American Indians, the so-called Native American Indians, our brothers, the Gadites and the Reubenites and the Iskarites. Remember, they got slaughtered when Sleazy E stole this land from robbery, lies, witchcraft, the prey to part of not meaning the Israelites. We still here. We still here catching hell. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 12. Woe. All I'm hearing is woe. Woe. Woe to him that build up a town with blood, destruction unto him that build up a town with blood, man. We sitting back, kick back, man. You know? We sit back, kick back now, man. Payback time. Remember, it's a right to stand with your hour by Shimia Shot to re recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. What the scripture say? No, there is no peace until the wicked, man. Woe to him that build up a town with blood. And establish a city by iniquity, straight wickedness. This side of this place was founded, man. Straight wickedness. And the Lord said, Look, it's only gonna take one hour. One hour to rip this place to a bloody sh shred, man. I, I can't even fathom with the words the Keller right about now. I'm so hyped right about now. Trying to do this response. I gotta calm down. Something's on my mind. Something's on my mind. Zechariah chapter 14. Verse 12, and this shall be the plague, meaning the missiles, man. The missiles are a plague to this place. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people. He smite means kill. Will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. But look, look, it ain't going to be no Will Smith just coming out of the blue, you know what I'm saying? That look, taking over the chariot, you know what I'm saying? Destroying the angels. No, man. That's fairy tale. 
All right, the missiles are gonna come and burn this place, man. And look, and they won't miss their ranks. A quick little response video. I'm about to make another response video, and then another one, and another one, and another one, and another one, man. Their flesh shaking some away while they stand upon their feet. We can do that. Nuclear fire, right? And their eyes shaking some away in their holes. What, what you think you're gonna do for the next hundred years? All that's gonna fly away. You no know saying when the missiles. When they say the missiles have been launched. Kiss your red, yellow, brown, black. You no know said coolo goodbye, right? And the eye shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth, man. Look, look, see, look, let it burn, baby. Let it burn, baby. Look, look, Malachi chapter 4. Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna rejoice in that day, man. We ain't sad. We ain't sad. Malachi chapter 4 verse 1 For behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven This place is going to burn soon come as an oven man One of them Nebuchadnezzar ovens too man You know one of them ancient ovens man And all the proud Yea and all that do wickedly shall be stubble What is stubble? The end results of fire man Consuming some stubble right And the day that cometh shall burn them up man Said the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, yeah, how will Bashim our shy? That it shall leave them neither root nor bridge. So look, look, we're rejoicing right about now, man. We're rejoicing right about now. Listen to that Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 24. The fierce anger of the Lord shall not return until he have done it. Until look, the fierce anger of Yahweh Bashim Shai shall not return until he have done it. Until he had performed the intents of his heart, of his mind. In the latter days, ye shall consider it, man. And the Lord has revealed his secrets into his service to prophet. This place is going to burn, man. It's going to look, look, this place has a date with death, man. Death. This place has a date with death, man. You don't know? So look, so look, so you didn't get the memo. You didn't get the, the Lord taking the murph out of the Remember, the thrill is gone, man. All right? The thrill is gone, Jeremiah chapter 22, verse 13. Woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness. Woe to him that buildeth his house, his, his, his corporation, his kingdom by unrighteousness, man. How How is America, America uh, look, America, uh, Babylon, the land of confusion, how was it built? Off unrighteousness, man. They, they won't fall on, um, Biblical principles, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't. It wasn't built on righteous laws, you know what I'm saying? It was built on wicked laws, wicked decrees, man. And it's gonna burn soon. Come one more time, Jeremiah 22:13. Woe, which means destruction. Woe to him that built up his house by unrighteousness, and his chambers by wrong, that uses his neighbor's service without wages, man. And look, look, what made America rich? Free labor, slave labor, man. You didn't pay the slaves, man. You didn't pay our forefathers, man. Our ancestors, man, for building America. And the Lord said, woe into this place, man. You see? They useth his neighbor, his neighbor's service without wages, and giveth him not for his work. Then he paid the Israelites for building this country, man. Held back the wages, man. You supposed to have paid Israel every day they work for you. You supposed to have paid them at the end of the day before the sun went down, man. But you held back their wages from them, man. The Lord, Lord, Lord said, you're, you're not going to go on punish, man. What, what that scripture at? Maccabees, 2 Maccabees. This is 2 Maccabees, chapter 1. Let's, let's get it. 2 Maccabees, chapter 1. Verse um 28. Punish them that oppress us and with pride do us wrong. Punish them. Yeah, how about Shimei Awashai? And with pride do us wrong, man. Let's get ready to go without all you heaters. That will show no pay, man. Once again, 2 Maccabees chapter 1, verse 28. Punish them, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, that oppress us. Who's oppressing us? Sleaze and eat. So when the Lord burn this place, let it burn. Let it burn. That's our attitude, man. Punish them that oppress us. And with pride do us wrong, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Let the wicked be consumed off the face of the earth, man. You see? Let it burn, man. One hour, man. Babylon's going to fall in one hour, man. What's the other one that I want? It's another one in the Maccabees that I want. Let's see. 
bear me, will bear with me. Where is it at? You, 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 you will not go unpunished, devil. Second Maccabees chapter seven verse thirty-one in the reads, and thou that has been the author of all mischief against the Hebrews, talking about sleaze and eat, right? Shall not escape the hands of your howl by Shem Yahushai devil. You're not going to escape, man. Devil, you're not going to escape the hands of your howl by Shem Yahushai. We're one hour. That's all it's going to take. One hour, man. Let's, matter of fact, let's get that. Revelation chapter 18. Let's get that, man. Revelation chapter 18, verse 8. And it reads. Revelation chapter 18, verse 8. Therefore shall her players come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. Remember? Let it burn. That's our attitude. She shall be utterly burned with fire. Therefore shall her players come. Remember, we read that in Zechariah, the 14th chapter. No plague mean no missiles, right? Therefore her players shall come in one day, death. And mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh who judgeth her. So this place is getting ready to get judged by the God of the Bible, man. You see, for when they shall say peace and safety, this sudden destruction come upon them as your veil upon a one with child. Guess what? And they shall not escape, man. And they shall not escape. Second Peter, Second Peter chapter three, verse ten. But the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And what's going to make that do that? Them ICBM missiles, those intercontinental ballistic missiles, which America allies are going to shoot on them, the, and their enemies are going to shoot at them. Look, you're going to have Iran, Russia. Uh, North Korea, China, and all these different nations shoot missiles on this place, man. And they're going to utterly burn this place with fire, man. You see? And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are, that are therein shall be burned up. But we know according to the Bible, this place is going to burn because the earth abided forever. According to Ecclesiastes, which I get it right quick. The elder brought it out in his video. It's pretty much, like I said before, a response video. To the video Elder Manata Zagba from South Carolina did. I just had to jump on this. I had to ride that wave. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse, um, let's see. Bear with me. For one generation passed away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abided forever. So when it says the earth shall, shall um, melt with fervent heat, it's talking about America, man. You see? Let's go back. 2 Peter chapter 3. Verse 10 in the middle, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat in the earth, also in the works that are therein shall be burned up. Guess what? Let it burn. That's our attitude. Let it burn. That's our attitude. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? How should you be conducting yourself knowing that this place is going to burn? Look, look, sit back, let it burn. That's our attitude, right? Looking forward, hastening until the coming of the day of our power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, wherein the heavens, sleaze and ease rulership, being on fire, shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, man. Look, there ain't no escaping this. Look, 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 look. What the scripture say? Uh, the one war is past. What, what was it? Let me get that right quick. Revelation chapter 11. Verse 14, the second woe is past, meaning World War II. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly, man. All right? That's representing World War III. It's on the horizon, man. And you people ain't, you people ain't going to escape. You're not going to escape the judgments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. Look, it's a wrap for you people, man. And everything that's coming down the pipeline, you deserve it all, man. Everything that's coming down the pipeline, you wicked people of the earth deserve it all, man. What, what else, Lord? Look, the Lord said he's going to open his armory, man, on this place. The Lord said he's going to open his armory on this place. He look, he said Babylon can't be healed. If it was possible, he would have healed Babylon. But there ain't no healing Babylon. This place got to go, man. This place got to burn, man. It got to burn. You know? What else I got? 
I got so much right about now. What else I got, man? Second Ezra, chapter 16. Matter of fact, let's get this. Second Ezra, chapter 14, verse 16. For greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done there after men. For yet greater evils. Evils. More bad times, man. What's our motto? Let it burn. That's our attitude, man. Evils, greater evils than which you have seen is going to happen on the face of the earth. Evils, man. Evils. Second Edges, the 16th chapter. What, look, look, what, what verse, Lord? What verse do you want me to get, Lord? For I start at one. Won't be unto thee, Babylon. America, right? The land of confusion and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Let's jump down. I, I, I want to jump down. Let's see. Let's see what I'm, I'm going to go right quick. I'm just hit some points and I'm going to wrap it up, man. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 4. A fire sit among you and who may quench it? Ain't nobody going to put this fire out, man. Let this mofo burn, burn the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need no more, we don't need no water. Let this mofo burn, mofo burn, let it burn, let it burn. Okay, plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Let's jump down. The mighty Lord, hey, the mighty Lord sendeth the plagues. And who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath. And who is he that may quench it, man? Matter of fact, let's go, let's go to um, Isaiah right quick. Let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah, the 13th chapter. Isaiah chapter 13. Isaiah chapter 13. I'm going to go straight to the point. Verse 9. Matter of fact. No, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 1, the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. What's that banner? The Bible. What's the high mountain? The mountain represents the large government, right? Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand. Tell them off that they may go into the gates of the noble. That's already happened. I have commanded my sanctified one, which are the prophets. And I have also called my mighty ones, which are the angels, for my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like of a great people, a tumultuous noise in the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, mustering the host of the battles going into the missiles. They come from a far country, meaning those missiles, right? From the end of heaven, even the Lord, and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land, right? To destroy the whole land. How ye? For the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Let's jump down. Nine. Behold, the day of the Lord coming cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. And what's our motto? Let it burn. That's our attitude. Shalom. It, it ain't over. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith, which are the scientists that blow up the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, meaning the missiles. And I have created the waster, meaning the missile, to destroy, man. The Lord had these scientists create the missile, split the atom, to create the ICBM missile, to destroy this place, man. Let it burn, that's our attitude, Shalom.